What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Lies of P video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am God's Chosen One. And for those of you guys that are returning, you guys are amazing as always, man. So on this video, guys, pretty much I'm going to be showing you guys my best farm spot for Crescent Moonstones. This is pretty much for anybody who has not gotten the Crot Supply Box yet, or has not gotten that far in the game to get the Crot Supply Box and you still need to upgrade your weapon or would like to upgrade a few other weapons and whatnot, uh, this is where we're going to be going. You're going to need to go to, or at least have, access to Rosa Isabella Street Culvert. All right? Now, one thing I will say is that it is not guaranteed that you're going to get Crescent Moonstones on each run. And yes, there will be runs. So I'm going to do pretty much 10 runs. Uh, obviously, the first one I'm going to show you guys, uh, and then I'm going to speed up the other nine. And then at the end, I'm going to pretty much show you my stockpile of Crescent Moonstones that I have. So let's get started. First, we make our way over here, and we just start killing the, uh, the maid puppets, right? Take them out. They Now, here's the deal. All these NPCs that we're killing here have a chance to drop Crescent Moonstones. All right. Just keep hitting me. Thanks. Make sure you kill the, uh, the little jester chick in the barrel just so that way you don't get sneak attacked. And right there, like I said, there's one. Make our way up here. Watch out for this guy. By the way, what the hell is going on with my game? I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, what is going on with the frame rate? Jeez, that stutter. By the way, I'm on a PS5. I'm not on a PlayStation 4, guys. So, relax with the comments of me being on an old gen console, all right? Then we come down this way. Now a guy's gonna burst through that door. Make sure that you kill this guy first. Watch out, he's gonna shoot. Take care of him. Watch out, there's a baby behind this box. All right. Sawtooth wheel, not a crescent moonstone. All right, all the babies are taken care of. And then lastly, the last enemy that I kill before I restart the whole run is this guy with the flamethrower. Now, don't go up that pathway because if you go up that pathway and you haven't fought the boss, you're going to aggro the boss. So do keep that in mind. Now, after we do the run, we use the moon phase pocket watch and we go back to our most recent Stargazer. Now I'm going to edit this. I'm going to speed up the process. I may even also put in a timestamp because I don't know how long this is gonna be. So bear with me guys, uh, and I will see you at the end.
All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm not sure if that was my 10th run or not, but let's just say it was, because <laughs> I, lo I lost count. But uh, I did end up getting at least three, um, what is it, Crescent Moonstones. I actually had 16 before I started. So it jumped me up to 19. So out of nine or 10 runs, I got three. Again, it's not a high percentage drop rate. So you will have to deal with RNGesus a little bit. But uh, this is pretty much the best spot to pretty much farm it. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace! Oh, yeah. I forgot to include this in the video. But uh, here is what I'm rocking as well. Because a lot of people ask me this question. What weapon am I using? What am I wearing? Yada, 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 right? So, my weapon that I'm rocking is the Bone Cutting Saw Blade plus 8 with the Exploding Pickaxe Handle. And then with my arm, I'm rocking the du Dues or Deus Ex Machina. Alright. For my amulets, I'm also rocking a Carrier's Amulet Trium Triumvirate, however the hell you pronounce that, amulet, and the Patience Amulet. For my defense parts, I'm rocking a F-150 frame, uh, Belfort Superior Corrosion Resistance Converter, holy shit, that's a mouthful, and Arch Brake Cartridge, and lastly, Workshop Union Multi-Layer multi Liner. And for my costume, I'm pretty much rocking the Mad Donkey setup. But uh, yeah, guys, like I said, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.